for the ideas of the education department. I wanted to talk a little bit about the education department, what it is, what we're doing, and what we're setting up. And then the idea was to do a little workshop if you in the mood for it for teachers and coaches. So I want you to uh, teach you the rules. <laughs> <laughs> um, education department. So thanks, Fred, for giving me the time and the space here to, to be here. But the education department, as a, as a part of the World Dance Council, the idea was to set up development, research, education for teachers, for adjudicators, for dancers. It's uh, a lot of work, it's all uh, free will, and so we're doing our best. And I'll tell you a little bit what the idea is. The education department, we have a Facebook page, I don't know if you're all on that, if not, click on it. <laughs> <laughs> People are writing, not bad at all, because some very nice subjects is going well, and we hope, and if you feel in the mood to write, please send it to me. No. The idea is that from the Facebook page, we get uh, files, so we'll file them later, and we put it on a new website, just from a new website from the World Dance Council, and a new website for the historical department. We are busy with collecting a lot of historical material in order to create a new website for the World Dance Council, film material, background information from all you superstars who have been dancing. Because it's actually quite important. It's funny enough that I know a lot about ballet. I know more about Martin than I feel mainly because there are books about it. So it's important that we have research, it's important that it gets connected, it's important that we save it. So we are busy with that, a very important thing. And Brigitte does a lot of work on that. So from that collection, what we are collecting of uh, uh, forms of data and articles, we're going to publish them <coughs> into the website, onto the website. From that, we will make a curriculum possible in order to set up like an education for people to follow courses so that they have study material to, to look to. The first project is for coaches who want to do, I have to talk to the coaching commission, uh, the coaching commission together with us will develop a um, coaching uh, accreditation. Uh, accreditation may be a uh, too much of a word, but an education. Because it's often, as you know, we start teaching, we dance, we teach, and we actually don't really know. Suddenly, it's a whole other job. Automatically, machine teaching is sort of similar, and most often we imitate our teachers and we say the same things. So we need to educate ourselves to that purpose. So that's the purpose of the education department. Historical education. We hope we had a talk last week in us, a few weeks in us, that the coaching commission. Something like that. Else we talked about will be a part of the education committee and will uh, um, be our main top committee where we can ask for advice and <coughs> uh, we can send information to, or they can ask us to research things so that there is a bit of a deal going on. Not fused, but in cooperation. Um, so yeah, that's a bit about the education department. Somebody has any, any anything to, to ask about that, that part? Is that a little uh, clear? Or if you have anything to say, you can just jump, jump, jump out. So what we're hoping is to set up, and I'm talking to the lab on Centre London, one of the possibilities is to, to set up a master degree or a bachelor degree for ballroom dancing. Now, it will take a while because it needs, it needs uh, a lot of research. It needs uh, it takes a lot of Because I want all the information, it must be all university approved. It must be all academic approved. It take a long time. I really need a lot of help. So if you feel <laughs> that you want to Yes, I'm doing a lot of work myself, but it would be great. Who are you? Hi. 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 Hi.
So, uh, which says head for the power. Well, uh, writing articles, collecting data, uh, maybe suggestion to you to read at the moment of the leadership campaign. And I thought that uh, I've said that I thought that academic work, but not many people are really working. So people say, hey, I've got some ideas, I want to participate in projects, setting up curriculum for coaches, uh, setting up the curriculum for for dancers and dance teachers to, to fulfill the development. Inherently, the university approval process is how do they do that? They will look into the material. So you'd have to produce a curriculum in no. the first place in order to, them to improve, but with how, who would improve it? The, the board. <laughs> okay. I mean, I've got to actually have a course. Uh, but at the end, it's actually just as, as simple as mine. <coughs> And if you say this, I'm coming with 20 people in this office. So, and if I set up a curriculum, then it will be part of that. I'm not saying you have to, but that would be a nice thing. That it is that we are, at least there is a possibility for a university to group the board with us. Well, why not? I mean, if you want to, to step that. In America, I think there is already something like that. There's nothing about it. I think in America, who ties it in the time? But Russia has had this for you. Huh? Russia has had this for 20 years. Says what? Uh, a university degree. They have it already. Yeah. America. But you buy it, have you? <laughs> <laughs> So what I wanted to do, a little workshop, because that was the idea, yeah, to start it off. Is that okay? Yeah. Just pretend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we would love to. Something what we have, uh, 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 what is uh, being written about, the education page. Hmm? One aspect was education, dance education. And I wanted to talk a little bit about teaching. teaching. <coughs> teaching methods, because I remember that often, maybe it's better now, but when I used to dance, my teacher was Walter Laird, mainly, and when I started teaching, I was teaching the same thing, I had the same jokes, I even had the same cigar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, and then you go, hey, this is actually good idea. So come closer, come closer. So, hi, hi. Nice to see. So, do we know that phenomenon? You know, so you teach and you, you often say the same things in technique, in methods, in all oh, what did I actually think about. Now, one idea I wanted to talk to you today is just about how to teach and which type of teaching methods there are. And I wanted to make it clear to you that what I'm saying to you, what I'm trying to explain to you, is not better, it's just an idea. I'm sure you're all already absolutely perfect. Most things you definitely know. What would be helpful and maybe a bit new is the words to it. The words to it sometimes help. And in the beginning, because every change, even in psychology or in teaching, or in, as you know, if you're teaching students, every change creates anxiety. And people therefore don't really want to change. They want to change, they're actually not because it's anxiousness. Oh, I'm not, it's unknown. So it will count for you too. So to change your, you could say, habit of teaching, you have to sort of bypass your anxiousness a little bit and try it out in the same place. So generally, when we come together, you and uh, your students, we come to share and make decisions about knowledge. Yeah? So on this side, there's a teacher, 
and hear those who learn. Yeah? And we share knowledge. And we make decisions about knowledge. Yeah? Because that's the idea. They pay your money and you have to teach them something. One idea is what we call the command style. Command style means that I know and you don't. It's not a wrong method, it's a perfect method, but it's one method. Command style, I know, sorry, my voice is coming, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Can I pick up? So the command style is, um, it's quick, it's to the point, because it's existing knowledge. You turn your foot out, it's about two, and you set back on three. I hope I got that right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 if I need a problem, better than promena. Don't laugh at me. So, what's interesting about command side, it's quick to the point and it deals with knowledge you know and the, and the pupil don't. And they pay you for it, it's quite satisfactory because you buy something and you get something out of it, you've got something. Yeah? What's the disadvantage of this command style? No feedback. No feedback. That's that that's what we think. It doesn't make the student think, look, think for themselves. It doesn't make the student think for themselves. <coughs> good, good points. There's no new knowledge. No new knowledge, yeah. Teacher is not growing himself. And the teaching, yeah, because if you just <coughs> so the teacher is not known. Good, so those are the points. So one element is not bad stuff. It's, um, it's to the point. Mostly in our business we do this. It's a uh, command. Yeah, you do it like this. And most it comes back from in my teacher. My teacher told me this, so. <coughs> yeah. All right, so later on, what I want you to do, so feel your anxiousness already. I want to teach all. We're going to teach each other a bit and, and try to teach those methods a little bit. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll do another method. So, another method is. This one is quite uh, interesting. Um, discovery. Discovery. There's a thing, you know, which is interesting. So the method is not about that I know, but it's a stance of not knowing. So often when I teach, I take a stance of not knowing. It's for me not difficult because I actually don't know. Often I teach more than that. So <laughs> and that is actually not a bad method. Uh, it started with me out of uh, ignorance, but it's not a bad one. And you could say it is uh, known, the outcome, I tell you, or unknown. So that means I let you discover something, and I know already the outcome where you want to go. So, it is somehow around the bend telling you where I want you to go. But I'm not telling it straight away with command style. What's the advantage of this? You get the student to grow in front of you. Yes, it seems to become self aware. Self aware. And they'll value you more because they feel they discovered it. Yes, they feel value because they go, ah, oh, yeah. I discovered it. I discovered it. You yeah. learn more about the student's state of mind in the process. As well, yeah, good point. Yeah. You learn that they question things themselves. Yeah, they question things, yes. So it is deals with autonomy. Yeah, it deals with independence. The independence of my teacher, and I'm teaching, and I've got to help you off, and I'm at Preston Dunlop. You see, you always say, from the moment you have a pupil, you must already think about when they're going to leave you. Because they have succeeded. Right? In, a way, in a way, it's a bit like growing up, having children. 
you got children, and in the beginning, father and mother want to take care of everything. Still, the children want to grow up and make their own choices and leave the house and still in contact with make their own choices. Yeah. And teaching is a similar process. And it's difficult for parents. Yeah. My father wanted to make decisions for me all the time. I oh, should make that wall brown as a darling pink, isn't that nice? <laughs> 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 but you know, so yeah. And then after some slide, we learn to let go. Hard to let go. Because the ego doesn't want to let go. Because the teacher wants to feel important often. So the first thing stand is how can I help you to get rid of me? That, that would be a really nice way. How can I teach you to be autonomous without me? Now they always need, everybody needs a teacher. I need a teacher. I've got a therapist. I've got everything. We all need something like that. But you need autonomy. It's not dependency, but independent. And that's quite rich. And people will feel very valuable. Yeah, good. Known outcome. So I'm going to write a bit. So I've got a question in my head, which I write at the back. And then I'm going to let you give an idea and later we're going to practice it with each other. I'm going to discover something. Now I know I'm doing it with you for a moment because I know it goes quick and I'm <coughs> familiar with it. And I want them to tell me exactly what I've got in mind. But I'm not telling you. If I'm not getting it, I might give a little hint or a little this or a little that till I get it. So if you think about rhythm, well, what's going on in your mind? And change. Change. And if you think about change, are you thinking about music or no? You see, in this eyes going like this, this is where learning, this is where learning takes place. Learning takes place at the moment he goes. Not when I talk. So that's why you have to do about my change in my body. Change of your body. So you change of your body has a rhythm. And any more other rhythms? What happens with the change in the body? Create the change, and create excitement, create the... There's other things in the body as well? Heartbeat. Heartbeat. And not the body? And? Not music. the body? Music. music. Outside. So how does that work? And does your partner have a similar rhythm? Does she need to have a similar rhythm? No, really. Not really. Okay. So you could have a rhythm, so you're fighting and have a rhythm? Yes. They will be free, and you can share it. And the music to do it. Yes. I can free. Yeah, so that's a bit of the idea that I said. I wanted to know about one and one. It's only sort of thing that you've got a rhythm, your partner has a rhythm, the music has a rhythm. Now, I know he knows that because it's obvious. But I'm guiding him, and there was a bit of anxiousness, and there was a bit of thinking, where does he want to go? And that leads, and he will never, ever forget it. Now, if I would tell you, this is his rhythm, it's my own rhythm, my body, because of the changes in organic unity, and the relationship with Biden, my body, and, and, and blah, 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 people forget. But if I let you discover it, it will stay along with you. Yeah, is that a bit idea clear? Yeah. Mm. Unknown outcome is a risky one, is that I really don't know. To me, that has been quite helpful, and I'm sure for all of you, the top people of the English section, that, that, that there is a sense of not knowing about it. A real sense of knowing. Because that will create new knowledge. Now, I, I've never, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And you're from Hong Kong, you said. I was born in Hong Kong, but... Uh, and in Luxembourg. I live in Luxembourg. What's your profession before? Uh, I, I teach it sometimes. And if, uh, any other jobs? Accountant. Accountant. So what's for you similar to accountancy and dancing? What, 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 what does it's, it? a it's a standard. For example, dance, born, and team, that's international standard. 
normally is British coaches standardized. But what about the British accountants? The accountant is also, they have standard international oh, okay. standards, such as IFRS. So, so what did you learn from accountancy? What you can teach in all of that? It means you set up a standard. You set it up a standard. A standard. For example, for accounting, we book entries according to international standard. We cannot book as we want. For well, that's the same thing. So you will go out from existing standards, and that's why you need it. Uh, I learn the standard, and I teach stu students what kind of standard they should dance. Right. Because particularly in, in, in French-speaking countries like Luxembourg or France, people dance social dance. But it is the old style, like 1930s, 1920s. Can I just interrupt you for a moment because this was the main point. You see how excited he is? See how excited he's got two hands in his <laughs> If I give him more than one, he's going to start dancing. <laughs> so this is the whole point. Very good. This is the point. That is there something about accountancy that would be totally the opposite for me? Because for me, I'm against rules. Everything with rules, I go to do that. If people say that, I go right. So, but for you, it's important. And you could be successful. That's what it is. And dance is what it is. Does it make sense? This is so hugely important. And he can tell me lots of things I don't know. That's what makes it interesting. Yeah? So we have discovery style and command style. We talked about two things. Command is I know and you don't know. I tell you what to do. Quick existing knowledge. Disadvantage is that new things might not come up. Independence and autonomy comes up. Could you just talk to your neighbor about the differences between those two? Just talk to your
Does it make sense? So the, the, feed, the learning is you need feedback or from the teacher or from yourself, externally or internally. And this one is more about, so how does it feel for you? How was it for you? How was that experience for you? How is it, how's that sensation for you? No one experiences exactly the same thing. There is not two people who experience the same thing. All right. Okay, a little exercise. Let me just do your hand like this for a moment. And just open your hand. And just close your hand. That was too Okay, we now just do it slowly and just observe for yourself what's happening. Go ahead, go ahead. And just observe slowly what is happening. Which, okay. Which finger moved first? How stiff was it? How sweaty was it? Where your head shaking? Does that make sense? Yeah. So, you know, and this is hand go first. Where the two go to? How? There is, there will, no one here will be exactly the same if you ask which one. This, this accounts as well as the rule of walk. There's no two people or the slot folks. There's no two people who experience something the same. So how you experience something is very important. The sensation of the one. Are we clear? So sometimes to check with them. How is that for you? Or if you teach them something, you say, check it with them. How was that? Did you get that? So three we got for the moment. There are many, but I will take this three. Command, discovery, self. Now, even if you could already shift the videos to be great. What I would like you to do now is to just uh, one place, teacher and one student, and we just swap it around. Doesn't matter if it's a man or just somebody. And I will uh, give you some uh, task what you should teach. Yeah? So let's go to that space altogether for a moment. Let's go. <laughs>
you notice that a lot of people go into commands now by tick, 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 because they get excited about the subject. We nearly had a fire at all. You nearly had a fire. Would you like to be in the commands? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we found the opposite of that, too. Did you? No, but just, it wasn't about command zone at all. It was about an exchange of information, which is more like the discovery stuff. Okay. There's but nothing wrong with command zone. Would you not say that the level that you're dealing with affects this? If, if you're yeah. teaching somebody to do one, two, three, and close their feet, yeah. you have to command them, don't you? They, they don't know how to do that, so you've got to teach them to basically do that. Having once done that, then you can say, well, what do you experience? Uh, how do you feel? Can you stand on your toes? Can you sustain balance? So doesn't it depend to some degree on the level you have? Uh, initially, you must command them. They come in, they you know, yes. not a lot. Yes. And then it may switch to the other method, and then you would intersperse as, uh, as you go along. Do you not think it affects, the level affects it? I think so. There is nothing wrong with anything. So, so in, I think in the lesson you keep switching from method. So, for example, let me give you just sitting here. I could just imagine children say, "No, you know, just just grab that thing there, there, there." Okay. Yes. Now this feeling on your toes now. Sure. What's that feeling if you do that in the third? Yeah, it would be on a diving board. Is it yeah. on a diving board? Whatever. So you could sort of, you know, immediately give the children specifically a very open tool. But that there is a command sound necessary to be used for sure. Until till later on, there's nothing wrong with it. The whole thing is if you just keep commanding sound, people get dependent. You know, and this is what you would see, if I may say so, in our dancing often. The pupils are a bit, you know, okay, yes. Because they are used to get one way information. And they get a bit overloaded. And there is no feedback necessary. Actually, feedback is not appreciated. That's the best. Well, we all noticed that. That's the best, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, without feedback, it's a nightmare. It has a long time. Longest lesson of the day. There's no feedback. Often. Rather than. So I would argue that teaching is not really about right and wrong. It's about who's stimulating and who's encouraging. So the right and wrong is a Shakespeare idea. There is no right and wrong, just interpretation. You know, just, just take this right and wrong out, and you get an enormously peaceful feeling as a teacher and a human being. It's just pushing on what to do right. That's one thing. Another thing I noticed around that people are sincerely excited about the subject. And they're so excited that they, they, they get into this command thing. Yeah, but it's like this, 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 this. So rather than stepping back a little and watching, are they learning and I shifting the math? Any more comments? About what we um, it was quite interesting because we were like a, a foursome. And <laughs> 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 you again. <laughs> Always better. So, yeah. um, <laughs> and it was really interesting because at first we were trying to do what you told us, and then eventually, when we weren't sure what the other person was saying, it became commander stuff for sure. There's, yeah. there's no question that when I wasn't sure what he was saying, that guy called me a little bitch. Cheers! <laughs> 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 That's, that's how it seemed to go. In the beginning it seemed to be fine, we were all yeah. listening, and then as it started getting to a point where we weren't sure what the other one was saying, it then became sort of, well, it is that and it isn't, so. Yeah, so the beginning of that sentence is so easy, I'm not really sure. Okay, a few, a quick few, a few others, just mentioning it, we're not going to practice it. Simple ones we all know, but I just, just a word for it. Practice are quite okay. Quite okay to let them practice in the lesson. And I'm not talking about, you know, go and have a practice while I have coffee. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember this bit in the old uh, uh, schools. So you know, people are going, oh, yeah, I'll have a coffee at the time. <coughs> so but, you know, go and try this. Go and try this for a moment. Huh? And, you know, how does that feel, actually? Huh? Go and give it a practice. It's quite okay. It's very nice for a moment that the teacher shuts up. It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> And that, that, oh, 
Let him, and from that comes new information. Quite important. Reciprocal is the meaning that the, the couple I do often when I teach theories and say, no, you, you in the Bible, I say, can you look at Julia? What do you think? You know, is that better or not? Did you feel but not that he was from the teacher of Julia, but that the idea that, that the idea I as teacher suggested. Then you can check, oh, was that better? Oh, yeah, well, no, I thought that moment, and, and then vice versa. So it creates bonding, it creates uh, learning to talk to each other, because couples often fight, of course, as we know. And uh, so you learn them to communicate as well, to give reciprocal feedback. Self check, we talked about it. Solution focused, that's a big deal. Yeah? Are we aware of that one? That, uh, if I have to say that one thing I would find difficult, Often in teaching is that people fight. You know, often they fight. It's not the main thing. When I study psychology and psychotherapy, I still find it difficult. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but you know, one thing is a bit, a bit easier is solution focused idea. So if people come to me with a problem, I will ask them, and what is the solution? Just bluntly like that. And it's interesting, as therapists, I often of people in, in my in the clinical setting, where they come and tell me their problems and issues are quite heavy and sincere, but I deep down I know that they don't know the, the, the solution to it. And that I have to guide them towards the solution. Fascinating. The power is in the individual. And how you guide them by well give me an example what you would have a a couple of typical My fault. Oh, that's yeah. who says that, who says what to He means, for example, if the girl comes oh. in and says, it's always my fault. And he's, say, he's always saying it's fine. So the girl is saying to the man, for example, he is always telling me it's my fault. Yeah. Okay, so what would be a solution focused method? <coughs> <laughs> so first of all, so another thing is a sentence I always remember is be curious and not furious. So to be curious, so, so what, what, what do you have to shut up about? Ah, he tells me that I do this and this and this. So, so tell me more about it. How's that for you? Do you know what I'm Are you hearing what your partner is saying? She's saying that. Is that what you feel? Ah, yes, that's what I feel. What do you think you could do in order to sell this Ah, he, you know, he pushes me. He pushes me. And I would ask the me, what can you do that he doesn't push you? Well, maybe if I'm a nice one, if I'm a soft and touchy. And then ask him, what could you bring to this party? Does that make sense? So that's, that's about, I'm taking the angle about blaming. So you is the word that creates the quickest fight. So the, I teach them the word I. I feel this and this. I am noticing in this step that I'm feeling that push is very different than you push on bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell that story about you two. You can, it's fine. No, it's not. Interesting thing. I, you know, interesting. And I, I'm trying out because they would come with a solution. You stay. What is risky often in the beginning, because time is money, often we think, that we have to deliver, but actually not. Space, silence is, is, is thought. And wait. Wait, wait. So, so what do you think is the solution? I tell you what's the first answer. I don't know. Oh, interesting. How is it not to know? <laughs> <laughs> and wait. And wait again. So, is there any other moment in your life where you did find a solution in this thing? And you know, but believe me, I'll get it out of it. But I'm not getting into a panic stage. I stay calm and stay related to it. What's the solution to that? And they feel enormously about Make sense? Mm -hmm. That it's solution focus. Well, you can swap a bit, it's always swapping. 
It's constantly swapping methods. It's never one method. It's constantly in a lesson all of them. Learn an initiated style, often that the couple, this happens a lot with top couples, that they come to you and say, listen, I come to you because I want this and this and this. I'm coming to you as a teacher for that, or for this method. Are we clear about that? Mm -hmm. that, that, that Self-teaching is that they don't need a teacher anymore. Not good for business, but that's the other <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this one. <laughs> Then they have succeeded. They don't need you anymore. Would be a big compliment. If they say to you, we don't need you anymore because I'm going to the other one. It doesn't take me. Well, can we get it? Let me just quickly repeat and then if you can just talk along your, among yourselves. Command styles. So these are teaching styles. This comes from Master, Master Physical Education. You can find it on the website of the education department. So if you look on the education file, these styles will be all there. Hmm? You, you just print it out. It's actually quite fascinating. Command style. Teacher knows existing knowledge and you don't know and I tell you. Discovery style is that I know what I want you to learn, but I help you to discover it. So you feel empowered. Unknown article means that I really don't know and I see if I can discover something from your existing knowledge which will help you to grow as an individual. Mm -hmm. So that's for idiosyncrasy, for personal styles to use. Practice styles to give space for learning. Learning takes place when it's quiet. Learning takes place in silence. Moment of ah, and ah, or time, ah. Self-check, self-feedback. It's about kinetic learning. Some people are extremely talk more about, about kinetic, they feel it. You know, I'm a bit more of a thinker. If I understand it, I, I can feel it. Other people, I use a student who I could talk everything to, but it made no sense. <laughs> when you did it, you go, ah, oh, you mean that? So they learn the kinetic. Kinetic is, is a learning by such. Solution focused is that the teacher, but as well the people, must be thinking about the solution rather than the problem. <coughs> and it is quite simple, try it out. I've got a problem here. What do you think would be a solution? I don't know, you asked a partner. You know? And you know another good question is? This is a nice one too. You know, you, you got the one. I don't know. <coughs> you know you now pretend you know, what would you say? <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> oh, I know, I know, like a pistol, I swap places. So they are there, the teacher, and I play them. You know, and I play them, and I tell them, so, no, I don't know. So, and, then he's, uh, so, and he's playing the teacher. So if you were the teacher, what would you tell me? Because I swap roles. And then they somehow they seem to come up with things. So don't give up too quick. Don't give up too quick. Learner initiated. Are we doing that really, or are we only doing this in the first sentence? Are we doing this just when the couple come in? What do we want to do? Quick step of cha cha. And that's it? <laughs> and now I go over and command style? Or do we really ask a bit deeper? So I always, and, and, well, this sounds a bit wrong, but I would suggest if somebody comes in and says, I want to do cha cha. So well, why? What brings you to the cha cha? What do you want to learn about this? What are you, what's, what are you busy with? So f be a bit more curious about it. Don't stop after the first sentence. Does that make sense? So be curious. <coughs> curiosity. Self-teaching is that they want to say. Okay? Please just have a little talk together, make little groups about this. And if you have some comments,
the best performance they can at this moment mm -hmm. in time, then you may have to uh, cut and make a decision what is necessary for them. And that's when maybe command mode is, is necessary. You have to bring in command mode to... Could be, could be, could be not. It's another argument is what you have to say. That's what I'm saying, that's what that feeling of yeah, yeah. time. But yes, I, I take you from your point. Do, does the level of dancing muscle not also depend on that? Like, for example, if you're exposed to a lot of good dancing all the time and you don't notice what you want, then you have more of a sort of a, a feeling of where it can go. Whereas, for example, if you're in South Africa and you don't see this kind of dancing all the time, all they want to know is how to do it. And yeah. the more room you give them, the, the, they don't want that. They just want to be told how to do it, where do I put my hand, how do I... And it becomes very difficult to give them that freedom because they actually have no idea. I'm not sure if this is only about freedom, do what you want. This is about, uh, you know, you could exactly say, listen, I want you to stretch your leg and do your hip like this. It's just a different method of teaching it. So it's not about freedom <coughs> and do whatever. Maybe I come a bit across like that, which I have that tendency. But it's not what I mean. This is about, you know, you could have a clear plan, I want it like this, but the way I teach it, which method, is different. So that's a different, and out of my experience, it works quite good with beginners, and, and I don't have that feeling so much. Try it out, try it out. Even one, just take one and say, okay, next lesson. You know, it's fun for you to do some music. Next lesson, I'm going to try one little moment with this coffee style. And if you think, good, this is going nowhere, go back to <laughs> then that um, an instance I had with a top professional couple some years ago just a week before a major championship and it all became about their feelings and their sensations and they were discovering for themselves what they wanted and in the end you actually kind of have to take the teacher out of the lesson and say well next week I'm the judge and it's going to be either I like the look or I don't so when you say that to them, suddenly it frightens them into a totally different mode, and now they want to come on this. Tell me exactly what I've got to do to win. So what are you saying? Well, kind of in a way that I would say I would encourage discovery much, much, much more. But in the end, I mean, even I noticed this in Aston through the Congress, you know, which I love. The third day, somebody said, hasn't it all become a little bit too much about what we feel and discovering from ourselves and our own sensations and sometimes at the end of the day it would be best for all the 18 lecturers just to say well, if you want to mark for me in the comp next week this is what you've got to do yeah. so it's almost like the balance you're talking about the balance yes, no the balance absolutely of to discover absolutely and i'm a little bit uh, airy fairy floaty uh, you know i can be all over the place so yes sometimes i need to do that so you all have to check sometimes to yourself, am I too command, am I too floaty, you know, what's about this? The magic is in the mix. Yeah. If, if you have a good lesson, you keep swapping it. One into the other, one into the other. I used to remember something going way back to Nina Hunt. And then I always used to notice, either when we argued or when other people argued, the one thing that Nina Hunt would do is go completely quiet. You know, instead of getting involved or trying, you could say trying to help. And then after a long time, plucked up the courage after a moment for a long time. I said, you know, why'd you do that? And she said, well, the way I figure it, they're either going to split or work it out. <laughs> <laughs> Without my help. She said, and sometimes the more you do it, the more you feed it. So yeah, that's a, another, that was an interesting observation for me. Yeah. Yeah. That 
she would she would let them discover their own way out. By not interfering. By, by, by just going quiet. Yeah, exactly. She would go stony quiet. And, and, and even if it was a long time ago. No, the to check, you know, silence is a big subject. Too. Yeah. Is the silence, silence is God, but uh, what's the silence about? Is it your fear? Mm. Is it you don't know? Is it, you know, what type of silence is this? Mm. Right, I want to do one more teaching thing and then we leave it for today. But before we do it, I want to take one little thing more on board. So we talk about you teaching, now just one other thing, obviously we all know this one. But how would you learn on that side? So some people already mentioned a bit. Uh, because often, so visual is a big thing. People learn visual, yeah, by showing. Lots of teachers do it. They show it, and you do it. I see, I do. Motor. That is. Um, well, you know, it's muscular and, 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 and explained by kinetic. so, kinetically. Yeah, kinetically is, uh, is, is uh, I, I, I was thinking more about this. So by through touch, is actually, but they both are linked. But in, 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 in Bali, they teach dance. They sit, they sculpt you. They stand behind you and they push you to the right chair. And you'll learn about that. You know? I don't know. <laughs> so they, do it, they don't tell you, they push you into that shape. By touching. Or in ballroom, I see it more often. They have, oh, you have the swing, and you just go and touch. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, motoric, kinetic, imagery. Images. So again, about lightness. How does it feel? So I'm, I'm touching you. Feel that lightness. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? No. Yeah. Or look, look it's like this. Ah, I see it. Or feel that this moment. Lift the sternum up. Feel the center of levity rising. Lift the gravity blah, 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 and motorically do it. Or you actually do the image. Imagine a leaf floating in the air. So you're shifting a little bit how you bring it across with those methods. Yeah, so we... Are we clear? That's obvious. It's quite nice sometimes. I just want you to check inside yourself which one are you using all the time. I tend to talk. So that can be a bit risky. I need to get up and show more things. <laughs> sure that's the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but some of the best teachers haven't been able to show it. <laughs> yeah. So that does with these people, uh, the people always say, push me, push me, so I get an idea about that. <laughs> 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 Imagery is quite nice, I, not my thing at all. Imagery is not, I'm not very, some people are great with visualizations and all sorts of things. I see nothing, I close my eyes to see, see nothing. I just see. <laughs> 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 I don't think we'll have holes. <laughs> not not what well, I wish I had. It's a very powerful tool. Yeah, so check that. Oh, how do people actually learn? Other people learn by energy. Ah, oh, that's the energy. Like that. Or you show it, or you explain the opposite, and you this, and you relax, and you do that. As long as the thinking and the doing goes towards the feeling. If the felt sense isn't there, you haven't learned it. So the best that the teachers would do is use all the things. Use all and check which, which one works. 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 Some students imagine imagery. Yeah. Pass it out when you read the dance and would use that most. Yeah. And I'll find some of my imagery is a little bit weird. And I'll do it with one girl, and immediately you see her just grow over, and somebody else is just standing there scratching their head looking at you. Yeah, so. exactly. We're so checking a bit. We're swapping, we're checking. Okay, last exercise, and then we'll leave this What I want you to do again, 
Is can you take another partner for a moment? Yeah, the teacher. And can we just as the exercise take the most easiest one out? So don't do that one. Is that okay? <laughs> just to challenge yourself. Don't get excited about what you teach. Because it's not about what we're going to teach. It's about how we are teaching. So I don't, don't bother about it enough. And we go to three steps of a hedge or two. Don't get into the subject like you don't show off, don't get into it. Uh -uh. It's about this. Yes? Is that all right? Yes. So, and if you can't you do it properly, or you do it like me, you just do it like a beginner, it doesn't really matter. And I want you to shift it. If you are able to use one of those, show it, use an image, you know, or by touch or something, and then that would be good. All right? You'll be tactile. Yes. <laughs> If I can finish with a little commercial, <laughs> could you just 
add to our friends to the education page. Could you help us? And you know, feel free to email me if you have nice articles or ideas. You know, please feel free to do. Don't think all oh, it's not me. I'm, I'm open and as much as possible encouraging people to participate. Yeah? Thank you very much. Great.